Hey everybody, this is the Cyber Bard, and I'd like to welcome you to the second episode of The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim, our Let's Play. We're dealing with the Chronicles of Jody the Barbarian. Now, like I mentioned in my first episode, Jody is, uh, is a guy that I, I like a lot. He's my brother-in-law, and uh, if you take a look at the description of the video, you'll have a link to his channel. Um... He's, he's a very nice, pacifistic sort of fellow, so this is very much uh, out of character. But I thought it would be amusing, regardless. So this is what Jody looks like. He is a big, beefy barbarian, as you can see. And, uh, yeah, I am uh, I'm playing a, uh, a very typical Nord character. The Nords being the traditional people of Skyrim. Now, what happened last time is that we escaped from a we escaped from a big honking dragon, uh, just as we were about to be executed. Lovely, the Imperials uh, were deciding to uh, trim our head a little bit, but just at the right moment, an enormous dragon came out of nowhere and destroyed the town of Helgen. So now we are on the lamb and we are looking to make our way to the nearest town, which is called River Run. So we have a lot of options. Like I mentioned last time, this is a completely open world game. We can go literally anywhere and do just about anything. So I'm going to go down this way because there is something down here. I believe we have the stones and you'll see what I mean by that momentarily. Ooh, look at this. See these stones? Are those stones are a tradition in the Elder Scrolls games. Basically, they're mystical power stones, and there are a number of them throughout the game. These are the first ones. There, there's a whole bunch of them scattered across the map, and they give you different passive bonuses or sometimes active bonuses. So these things here, these guardian stones, we have different things based on constellations. So Relof is still giving us a little bit of a hand. He's not our companion. He's not sticking around with us, but he advises us to take a look at the stones. Now, it's pretty obvious which stone I'm going to be picking for this playthrough, at least to start. Now, we have the thief, which is not really what we're looking to be. Jody is not a thief. Jody is a badass. We are not a wizard. We do not throw magical arcane bolts around. No, 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 no. We are a warrior. All combat skills will be learned 20% faster. Damn right. Ooh, shiny. That is the constellation of the warrior. See, it was all glowy and stuff. Neato. All right, let's move it along. Now, the thing about not being a stealthy character is that it's going to be tough for us to know when something is hostile present. Because when you're sneaking, it's very easy to know if there's a hostile enemy nearby because the, uh, the little eye will open. See that eye? So if somebody sees you, that eye will open. So generally, if you're sneaking and it's closed, you don't have to worry about anything. When you're like this, though, your trigger, your cursor, does not tell you if anybody sees you. Now, we are going to harvest a whole bunch of stuff that we see because we can make potions with things, and potions are very good. Particularly, particularly for this build, too, because uh, Jody is not a magic user, and as such, he will not be using um, restoration magic on himself. So he's going to have a very big dependence on potions, and he is going to be drinking a whole bunch of them. Now, look at the detail here. We have fish jumping up and down in the water. This is on ultra detail, by the way, so you can see the water texture is just absolutely gorgeous. Oh, man, there's definitely a dungeon up there. We're going to have to go check it out 
probably after we hit the first town. And honestly, if you're on the fence about whether or not to pick this game up, if and you're a Switch user, when this comes out on the Nintendo Switch on the 17th, definitely, definitely pick it up. One of the best games of all time. Now you see these are wolves, so we're going to wreck them. Bad dog. Grab some wolf pelts. You gotta be careful of that because there can always be random stuff in the environment that will just jump out and try to make your day miserable. But right now I'm harvesting these mountain flowers and the wolf pelts will be usable for crafting stuff after. Sorry about the uh, the mouse moving around here. It's uh, just trying to get things set up here and it's a little a little uh, sensitive I'll make sure that's fixed next time a little bit of thistle want to go up here no, I'll just go with fell off I almost can't believe it. a real live dragon well, believe it, because that real live dragon uh, tried to wreck us. It was blowing fire everywhere, in case you didn't notice it. It was pretty, pretty nasty. And here is our first town. Let's put our weapon away. And not be jerks. Let's follow Raloff. He hasn't led us astray yet, so... Who's this fellow? Here for work? Get an axe and bring me all the wood you can chop. Don't tell me what to do. Ah, Brother. there's... Brother, Mara's mercy, it's good to see you. But is it safe for you to be here? Gerda. We heard that Ulfric had been captured. Gerda, I'm fine. At least now I am. Are you hurt? What's happened? And who is this? One of your comrades? Not a comrade yet. Friend. I owe him my life. Did is I there somewhere we can talk? Maybe not. Maybe. Never mind. But I would stay away from him. Oh, and again? Has something happened? You're right. Follow me. Come here a minute. I need your help with something. What is it, woman? Like you saw, there's generally people that will pop up out of nowhere and just come here and start talking to you. It can happen in this game. I'll be right down. New to Riverwood? If you're looking for work, go see Hod at the mill. Of course. Here's the key to the house. Stay as long as you like. If there's anything else you need, just let me know. I like free stuff. Are you giving me this stuff? Oh, fantastic. Cheese. Garnet. Damn. Three potions of healing. Man, this woman really hooked us up. I like you, lady. Look at the puppo. That's right. Don't worry, Uncle Rayleigh. I won't let those soldiers sneak up on you. No. Go, Papa, go. What's going on? You two look pretty well done in. <sighs> I can't remember when I last slept. <sighs> Where to start? Well, the news you heard about Ulfric was true. The Imperials ambushed us outside Darkwater Crossing. Like they knew exactly where we'd be. Uh-oh. was... Two days ago now, we stopped in Helgen this morning, and I 
thought it was all over. Had us lined up to the headsman's block and ready to start chopping. The cowards. They wouldn't dare give Ulfric a fair trial. Treason for fighting for your own people. All of Skyrim would have seen the truth then. But then, out of nowhere, a dragon attacked. You don't mean a real, live... I can hardly believe it myself. And I was there. As strange as it sounds, we'd be dead if not for that dragon. In the confusion, we managed to slip away. Are we really the first to make it to Riverwood? Nobody else has come up the south road today, as far as I know. Good. Maybe we can lay up for a while. I hate to put your family in danger, Gerda, but... Nonsense. You and your friend are welcome to stay here as long as you need to. Let me worry about the Imperials. Any friend of Raylov's is a friend of mine. I'm glad to assist you in any way I can. But I need your help. We need your help. The Jarl needs to know if there's a dragon on the loose. Riverwood is defenseless. We need to get word to Jarl Valgruf in Whiterun to send whatever troops he can. If Makes you sense. Do that for me, I'll be in your debt. All right. I can definitely do that for you. We could count on you. I ought to get back to work before I missed, but did anyone else escape? Did Ulfric? Don't worry. I'm sure he made it out. It'll take more than a dragon to stop Ulfric Stormcloak. I'll let them into the house and, you know, show them where everything is. Hmm. Look at the Help glorious the beard room. on this guy. Good luck, brother. I'll see you later. You know this guy is just a badass. <clears throat> Did I see you talking to Sven? Maybe not. Maybe. No, I was not talking to Sven. Stay away from him if I were you. I'm glad to help any way I can. Oh look, a chicken. Hello there. That is a very detailed chicken. Lucan over in the Riverwood trade is says thieves broke into his store. Strange. He says they hardly took anything. So there's probably gonna be a few quests here. Let me step out of your way, Mr. Badass. Hmm. Yes, this is where we're going. <clears throat> you lost. Make yourself at home. Yes, ma'am. Let's take that bread. Bread. Cheese. Bread. No messing around. Jody's a hungry man. Goat cheese wheel. Carrots. Very, very important that you stock up as quickly as possible. Seared fish. Hmm? Garlic, potato, bread, 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 potato, chicken eggs. I'm making a stew. Look at all this stuff that I got. Hmm, chest, eh? Don't take the ring. Now this you see here, this is something important to make a note of. When you see a red item, it means that taking it would be considered theft. So I'm taking the gold, but I am not taking that other stuff because I do not want to have any problems with these very nice people. Next Imperial I see is dead. Check the chest. Gold. Hide pelt. I don't think we should take a child stall. That's a little much. Don't need clothes. We'll show those faithless dogs who this land belongs to. Ocean of haggling. 
search the table. More gold. It's important for us to get as much gold at the beginning as possible because, to be blunt, things are very expensive. So, yeah. This is a necessary evil. I don't really need to do anything with him. Let's just check the cupboard. Plate, clothes iron, nothing there. I'm glad to help anyway okay. I I'm sure you are. Alright. So now, we are back in the town and... Oops, that's not what I wanted. We can take a look at our quests. So now, we have a couple of quests. One is to join the Stormcloak Rebellion. And the next thing we need to do is to talk to the Jarl of Whiterun. So what we need to do is get our butts over to Whiterun. And uh, yeah, that's that's what we need to do. So let me just check my controls. Because I want to check what my quick save tab is. Quick save is F5. This way I won't have to keep pulling up my menu all the time. So quick save, done. Let us make our way. So, as you'll see, time passes in this game, and time passing has an effect because certain. Every day we get whatever you need. Can I use your fork. If you have the skill, the grindstone will improve your weapons. Use the table to improve your armor. If you've got the raw materials, you can use the forge to make something new. Gerder's family, she and Hod run the mill. I make a decent living sharpening axes and fixing the sawmill. Until next time. I guess this guy is closing up his uh, forge for the day. So what I'm actually going to do is I am going to... Hmm, that's not what I wanted. How do I make the time pass again? Trying to remember those controls. Mm. My apologies, everyone, but wait is T. Makes sense. So it's 8.22 p.m. Let us wait a good 12 hours because we want to be daytime. We don't want to travel around at night just yet. We are still rather uh, green, being a freshly molded barbarian. We don't want to get Jody killed right off the bat. So, quick save again. Let us see what we can do here. So now, what we want to do is talk to this guy now, because now I believe... He's going to give us some work to do, and in doing that work, we're going to be able to improve our smithing Whatever skills. You you're looking for a new blade? I see. The grindstone will improve your weapons. Use the table to improve your armor. If you've got the raw materials, you can use the forge to make something new. Need any help around the yes, forge? There we go. How about you smith me an iron dagger? Here's everything you need to make one. Go ahead. Now, this is important because next time. smithing is, is a crucial skill in this game. You can make all kinds of fantastic equipment when you get really good at smithing. And uh, it's how you make the best equipment in the game. So Jody is definitely going to be a smith. Not bad, but it's a little dull. How about you sharpen it up? Just need a bit of metal and the grindstone over there. I can do that. So let's go to the grindstone. So this is how we get our iron dagger improved. As you see there, 
It's now putting it to fine, which is going to increase the damage by two. So very, very effective. And then we are going to boop, craft. Do I want to improve this item? Why, yes, yes, I do. Here you are. This looks good. You put time into your blades. They'll serve you well when you need them. You want to keep helping? How about you make some armor? Let's start by tanning some leather on the rack. Why, of course, Alvor, I can do that for you. All right, then. I'm an expert in all things. So, tanning rack. So, the tanning rack is used to turn animal hides to leather and to cut leather into strips. Both leather and leather strips are used in creating and improving weapons and armor. Makes perfect sense. So now, we're going to make some leather. Perfect. Oops. You the sneaky type? Ah, good. <clears throat> A lot of weapons and armor need leather for straps, fittings, that kind of thing. Let's Why, yes. You can make a hide helmet. Of course. Here's the rest of what you need. Of course I can make a hide helmet. Reuse the forge. Hide. Helmet. So the forge is used to craft the brand new finished products. Now he's going to want us to modify that. Need something? Here's a hide helmet. I should hire you to be my assistant at this rate. Sure. Improve the fit. Take this leather to the workbench <clears throat> over there. So, in order to improve weapons, you use this, the grindstone. And in order to improve armor, you use the workbench. So let us improve that hide helmet. And we are going to craft it. Yes, we will. Perfect. You have talent. Keep working at your craft, and you'll be a fine smith one day. Damn right. Why don't you keep that dagger and helmet? Maybe you'll remember me when you're making Skyforge steel, huh? Okay, what do you got for sale? So now, this is good because we can make stuff and then sell it back to this guy and then we're going to be able to improve our social skills because bartering is also, in fact, a skill and that allows you to get better deals on items. So items above the divider line belong to the vendor, below belong to you. Easy enough. So this is his stuff. This is my stuff. So let's sell him that dagger because we don't need that, uh, that Imperial dagger. There we go. We're going to keep that bow. Now, I like that Iron Mace, and I'm going to try to pump up its value, actually. So let's sell him these daggers, because we're not going to use daggers. The sword is nice, but I really like the heavier item here. So let's get rid of... Hmm. Let's get rid of the War Axe. No, we'll hang on to that. But regardless, that's the gist of things. I just wanted to show this part to you. We're going to um, we're going to end the episode here for today. But afterwards, we are going to take our trip off to White Run to see the Jarl, and uh, we are going to progress with the quest. But there's a number of things to do here in this city. I just wanted to show you the smithing system because the crafting is very very important to Skyrim I'm not going to focus a whole lot on it in the future because to be honest it's it's too much I'm not going to put this into the video every time I craft stuff so what I would rather do is show you now the basics of the crafting system for those of you new to Skyrim and then in my future videos I will do any crafting I need in between episodes so that'll be it for now uh, I'd like to thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave me a thumbs up below and hit the subscribe button for more videos in the future. I'm going to be doing more series now as I have uh, done a massive internet upgrade, which is very helpful. You can follow me on a number of um, different social media platforms, whether it's Instagram, 
whether it is um, uh, Reddit. Um, there, there's all kinds of stuff. Check my description in the, in the link below and uh, follow me there. I hope you liked. If you did, leave me a comment. Tell me what you didn't like too. I'll make some changes and uh, there will be many more episodes in the future. So as always, thank you for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day. Peace out. This is the Cyber Bard signing off.